My name is Benjamin Higginbotham. I'm the host of SpaceVidCast.com, and we use CamTwist to produce our weekly live video casts. I'm going to be doing a bunch of tutorials for you on how to use CamTwist Studio because we've been using it for quite some time, and I kind of want to show you what CamTwist Studio is and why it's so freaking awesome. It is an entire television studio in a box. CamTwist Studio takes that million dollar studio you've got down at your local news program and turns it into a free software application. It's capable of standard definition using just your straight up webcam built into your computer so you don't have to buy anything. Or if you've got a Mac Pro, you can even add black magic cards such as the black magic intensity board and multiple black magic cards so you can have a multiple high definition cameras coming into your computer and switching between your high definition cameras in real time and doing a live high definition show on the internet. And that's exactly what Space Vidcast does today using this version of software, CamTwist Studio 2.0. Let me show you a little bit about how we do that and what makes CamTwist so powerful. So first off in the interface you're going to see this matrix. This is where all of the different objects are located. The beautiful thing about CamTwist is that one button doesn't mean one source like it would in a traditional video switcher. One button can be a bunch of different things. We're working on adding virtual set support to Space Vidcast, which would be we would be sitting in front of a green screen. We'd take out the green screen and put images behind us. In a traditional video switcher, you'd have to have the, the green screen up here, the background source here. You have to do a bunch of different emams to make it all work. Oh, what a pain in the butt. But with CamTwist, I can just do all of that inside of one button. So one button is my entire virtual set right inside of CamTwist. I can have one button do, you know, let's add a couple of different special effects. I'll go into my elements. Let's add a zoom element. Uh, no, let's not add zoom. Let's add something a little bit more fun, such as comic book. We'll add that in there. We'll save that. Bring that out. There we go. So now I've got a comic book effect added to my button, and that's always added into that button. So if I bring that off air and bring that back on air, you'll see that that those elements are all tied to this one button. And I can have multiple buttons. So I can have one button here. We'll just add another button and we'll add an element and a webcam. The Logitech camera is fine. Great. So now I can actually go between one camera that has it and one camera that doesn't. I messed with it because the, uh, there you go. Pretty cool, huh? And I can dissolve. I can cut, I can add nameplates, I've got full alpha channel support. If I want to add an element on top that has actual alpha channel, so let's, uh, let's show this really quick. This is designed for 16 by 9, but you get the idea. So here's this, and you'll see it will do an alpha channel reveal back to me, just like so. So I can have videos with alpha channels built into them and roll those in. You'll hear, you heard the audio that was rolled in. I can create video playlists with a DDR. I've got my CG, I can have the chat room at the bottom, I can integrate RSS feeds, I can pretty much do anything I could do in a traditional television studio right inside of the CamTwist studio interface. It's completely layered. I can layer indefinitely horizontally, indefinitely vertically. I'm sure there's actually a limit somewhere, but I have yet to encounter it. You can go pretty far to the right, pretty far up. I, it's got to be thousands and thousands of objects. This is what CamTwist Studio is. It's an entire television studio in a box. And the television revolution will happen with programs like CamTwist Studio, allowing us to create high-end, high-definition, high-quality, live video casts on the internet. This will tie to your favorite streaming providers such as Mogulus, Ustream.tv, BlogTV, or even if you've got just something that you want to use such as Skype, you can add all of these effects in as well. You've got your preview monitor so you can stage everything in advance. You can break things up inside of your matrix so that you've got a timeline of events. You can have different setups. It's amazing what you can do for the low, low cost of zero dollars and zero cents. This is the Cam to a Studio interface and I look forward to teaching you how to do some really cool things with it in different tutorials.